Evelyn. Hashtag Kofine. <laughs> so there was a long period of time where we thought Delphine was dead, and you. <laughs> I thought I was dead too for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew, so how were you able to keep this a secret? Uh, and what, what, what was that like, sort of living in a little bit of purgatory? Actually, the good thing is I didn't quite know for a while. So Graham is in real life like he writes. He's very mysterious, gives you a couple of cues so, <laughs> and clues. So he told me on my last day that I thought was my last day, I'll see you soon. And he was kind of holding. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, buddy, like, we'll have a drink in Toronto. <laughs> Is that what you mean by soon? And then there was winking, and then we all, it was five in the morning. <laughs> but then, so for a couple months, I was kind of in limbo, but then I, I, I got the call, and then I thought, holy smokes, I gotta, I'm gonna have to lie for a couple of months, and I'm not a good liar. <laughs> so that was the hard bit, but there was a lot of a joy, a lot of joy bottled up underneath all the lying I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of lying, I mean, that's something Delphine has uh, had to do as well. There was a period of time where her motives were questionable uh, in, in taking over Dyad and, and, we, and, and you know, dumping Cosima. Yeah. And we weren't quite sure where she stood in, in terms of, again, villainy or not. Uh, yeah. you know, talk about you know, sort of the evolution of Delphine and, and your, your sort of relationship with this character. You know what's funny? You were talking about accents, and I only realized this recently. Um, when you're when you're not speaking your own language, there's there's a part of you that's not being expressed. Hmm. Um, it's there's a difficulty there that you f that you feel like there's something in the structure of your of your own soul that's not coming across. And I think that's really. I mean, Delphine's accent is 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 not an accent. It's actually a, a like a translating difficulty of language. And I think it's metaphorically a bit what she is. I think in a way she has, I think for her, her motivations are pretty clear. I think she's a pretty focused, big picture type of girl. But um, I mean, if you, if you want to save somebody's life, and if that means lying to them, if you're a focused, driven person, you're going to lie to that person. And what I'm going to take away from Delphine is that, is that thing she doesn't care what people think about her. She doesn't care that all the sisters doubt her that all the important people to the most important person in her life doubt her. She knows, she knows what she's doing. And I think it's interesting to keep that mystery for you know, the fans and, and even for Kasima. Um, and, but for me, the motivation's always been clear. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's talk about this relationship a little bit. And Tatiana, jump in too, um, because obviously the fans the fans have been really like passionate about this relationship. Uh, right? So, so talk about you know the fan reaction when when you run into people who want to talk about Cosima and Delphine and, and wanting those two crazy kids to just work it out. I think it's a testimony to John and Graham's talent for creating characters. I, I remember John uh, Graham telling me that for, for him it was one of the most important love story in the in the show. And I I, I think it's great that it's two women. Yeah! You know? I think it's pretty cool that the, the main romantic focus is, is that it's two girls in love with each other and that their main problem is not that they're two girls. And I think that's super liberating and and, and, and fantastic <laughs> and and when you said, you know, the, the, the best thing that a show can do is, is, is create empathy and, and, and freedom of identity. And if, if, if our show can have a little bit of impact on anybody's life, I, I know it's happened to you, it's happened to me, people telling me because of the show, I came out to my parents or I came out to, you know, my schoolmates. And when that, that stuff happens, when fiction inspires reality to be more of what it should be, then there's so much pride, and that's why for me it's been one of the most important, if not the most imp important character I've gotten a chance to play. Talk about 
This is the most important relationship in this show. I mean, no offense to Donnie and Allison, but that, that, <laughs> that, 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 that is what it is, right? Um, but, but this is sort of, this, this is the relationship that I think people are going to remember the, probably the most from this show and, and, and sort of it it's signifies sort of the most important love that uh, we have at this, the heart of Orphan Black. Talk a little bit about that and, and creating this, this dynamic. Well, I, I think that there's actually a lot of love stories in Orphan Black, but they're mostly familial. Yeah. Um, and, and this was certainly the most romantic. It was our only yeah. really romantic. Yeah, movie. and you're right, I should say romantic, because yeah. obviously the, the sister relationship, the clone relationship, and, that's the love and, story. And the Hendrixes too, and yeah. the Hendrixes go through so much as well. They go, they, you know, <laughs> and they... They sure do. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But we, we, we all strive to be families like the Hendrixes. But, but anyway, <laughs> oh God. the romantic, yes. Drug dealing. The romantic oh, heart of the yeah. show has been uh, Delphine and, and Cosima and torn apart, brought back together. Uh, and, and, you know, there's love, but there's also this, this drama of, you know, curing Cosima. And, uh, you know, talk a little bit about how important that was to put that at the forefront. Well, it's... It really speaks to the heart of the show. It's a sh it's a clone show that is about diversity, and so that relationship was very important to all of us to to have this partnership that was within the orphan black world that's like tested and full of trust and and flops back and forth. But at the at the heart of it, it's uh, it should have the same weight as any other straight relationship that you'd see on, on television anywhere, and on our show, any show. That was really important to us that we didn't signal it out, it wasn't over, overly sexualized, and that um, it was just two characters who love each other. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. uh, a message that we probably need more than ever. Evelyn, I almost feel like you have to say Cosima, but it's, it's up to... <laughs> But I'm not saying because I have to. She's my buddy, so. Yeah. Christina. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. She's the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a road trip up Pacific Coast Highway. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be the first thing. I have a, a movie coming out in, I know in Canada, it's a Belgian film that I really love that was called Le Passé Devant Nous. So if you know any American distributors among your friends, <laughs> you know, just drop them a line. <laughs>